And we are back here live on the patio at Peter B's Brew Pub for Pub Talk, brought to you by the Monterey Regional Airport and United Airlines on the Locals Radio Station for the Monterey Bay. Care Care uh, that was great, talking about Cali Roots 10 coming up Memorial Day weekend. Uh, lots going on with that. Get your tickets. Uh, it's going to sell out. That is a foregone conclusion. Uh, check the Save 30 store here very shortly as we're going to have a few available on there, and those, again, will go quickly. And uh, the big kickoff, Cali Roots and Caramel present Live in the Vines at Folk Tale Winery with, with Citizen Cope. That Thursday before it, so get in on and that. And those will go fast, too. Yeah, gonna go a lot real, of great shows coming up. Real fast, yeah. yeah. Don't no be doubt. the one that said, oh, I waited too long. Yeah, don't don't be that. No it, one it, likes that person. No, I, it, I don't. It, it, I don't. And, you know, a lot of people say they really want a lot of live music and good shows here on Monterey. You know the best way to make that happen? Go. Bingo. <laughs> exactly. Bingo. Show up, and that, guess what? We'll get more, and we'll get more. That's yeah. that's how you cultivate a great music scene right, right. there. And we're going to talk about our local music scene here in a couple of minutes. We've got the Sunset Center out here, and they've got their live locals lunch that is going to be kicking off very shortly. In fact, we're going to have a live musical performance from Talman Owens as well. In the meantime, though, we welcome back some of our favorite guests, Monterey Bay Community Power. We've got Shelly and Sage joining us. How are you guys doing today? Welcome. Thank you for being here. We're doing great. Thanks for having us back. Um, of course. We're so excited to be sharing our electric vehicle incentives program. And it's been about a year since we were here. Has and, it really uh, been? Wow. wow. That's insane. I yeah. can't believe that. <laughs> Jinx. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, now Jeff can't no, no, talk no. the whole time. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> yeah, you can talk. You can talk. <laughs> um, so uh, one year since you guys have been here, and I want to talk about the electric incentive, electric car incentive program because I think people are going to be really shocked by how big a program it is. People are used to being like, hey, I'm going to hook you up with a deal, 5% off. This right. is, this is, a little, this is much a little bigger more than, that. than that. But I do, for people that uh, aren't familiar with Monterey Bay Community Power, or maybe they hear me talking about it when I'm uh, talking about the weather, um, what is Monterey Bay Community Power? Because it really is a far-reaching organization that does a lot to encourage and influence green energy. Absolutely. So Monterey Bay Community Power launched about a year ago, early March um, in 2018. And we're the new Community Choice Energy Agency. We're the local electricity generator. And we source carbon-free and renewable power. Uh, cleaner mix than PG&E was doing and we're doing it at a savings and one of our biggest goals is to also reduce local greenhouse gas emissions through local energy programs which Sage is the uh, energy coordinator for so we're really excited to talk about the program today I just want to give a couple accomplishments that we've had since we last talked um, exciting busy year um, and we have a 97% enrollment enrollment rate in our community still. We delivered a $4.4 million savings for 2018. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it, it would have been gone out of our community, and we were able to give that back as a rebate to businesses and, commun mm. and uh, residents. It all stayed right here, local. All, That's so all, great. Fantastic. Yes. Um, we also spared 300,000 metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions from entering the atmosphere. And to give that a little perspective, because that's a, you know, it's a tough number to understand, 661 million pounds of CO2 um, because of the support of our community and our, our high enrollment rate. Wow. That is one. I mean, that. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I'm a bit speechless. Like, that uh, me too. I know. Well, I'm a bit th there's the money part, and then there's the carbon. And, and I know that folks in D.C. right now don't think that's a big deal, but that's right. a lot. You guys are s saving so much from going into our atmosphere. And it's and, so and, important. Uh, yes, it's so important. It's so important. And good news, we're expanding to San Luis Obispo and Morro Bay. So we'll be, you know, that was a partial year that we did that in, and now we're expanding to be bigger. So it's going to continue to increase. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to see the conversation change from who is NBCP, can they deliver what they're saying they can, into, yes, here's your savings, it's going to continue, and here's our first program that every single NBCP customer can partake in that is reducing greenhouse gas emissions locally. Wow, uh, you guys do so much, and and I'm I'm so glad that you guys kind of get to come on here and talk about it because people need to realize that you can make a difference with a local initiative. Yep. You can make a huge difference, and it, that can be for the local economy, which you are, and it can also be for the environment, which is a yeah. big deal and something that's needed right now because really the onus is on uh, is on the local, state, right. regional level yes. now. And imagine you know? if this 
was happening everywhere on a local level. I mean, the impact would be unbelievably huge. You guys are the beacon. So, right. You guys are the inspiration. Right. Hopefully you'll be the muse for a, a lot of change like I that. I hope so. Um, the, 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 this electric car initiative. Uh, when I looked at the figures, I was like, I, at first I thought I was like, that that must be a misprint. That It can't be that much, <laughs> but it really is. So I, I want you to be able to kind of break that out to people. Yeah, you know, I think it's important to announce, to you know let people know that this the timing of this program coincides with 2019 EV. Um, EVs they're having a range of over 200 miles now. It's no longer like 70 mile, 75 mile range, and so you know you can easily go from Monterey to Santa Cruz and back without worrying about running out of battery. Um, it really addresses people's range anxiety, which has been in the past. Um, you know, has hindered EV adoption. And, and it's valid. I understand why people be like, I want to help the environment, but this like would be really tough because I can only go this far. Where do I get it charged? There, there's so many questions like that, that we're seeing solutions being developed with that. Absolutely. It's a, it's continuing to improve with each year. Um, and MBE VIP is our super fantastic new EV incentive program. <laughs> Um, it's a collaboration between Monterey Bay Community Power and Monterey Bay Air Resources District. And together, we're offering an extensive EV incentive program. Um, it has two phases. We're, in the, we're currently in the first phase that's called Buy Local, and it's by Monterey Bay Community Power. Um, all phase one and phase two information is on the website. And since there's so much to go over, we just really want to focus on phase one yeah. right now. Um, and the program launched May 1st. It's available now through July 31st. And uh, it's for purchasing or leasing new EVs. And uh, I have Sage here to walk you through the good stuff, the actual incentives, <laughs> and uh, our participating local dealers who have also provided discounts. And this is a big deal. That These discounts are, are no joke here. Yeah, so thank you for having me on here. Um, we're really excited to be able to offer these incentives to all of our customers, you know, whether you're an individual, a public agency, a nonprofit, an educational institution, or a business. Um, we have monetary incentives that can reduce the cost of an EV for pretty much all of our customers. Um, so for individuals and businesses, this is the big showstopper, the money, the money talk. Um, it's real. Yeah, yeah, it's getting real. Uh, we can offer $1,000 off of a new electric vehicle. Um, for income qualified individuals, we can offer a full $4,500 off. Wow. Yeah. 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 And then for public agencies, nonprofits, and educational institutions, we can offer $3,000 off. And you can buy more than one vehicle if you're really interested. Um, individuals can buy up to two vehicles through our program, so that's at least $1,000 off of each vehicle. Uh, and the other ones that I mentioned, they're able to buy up to 10 vehicles through this program because we really want to encourage local nonprofits, public agencies, educational institutions, businesses to electrify their fleets um, so that we can truly electrify transportation on this central coast. Um, so that's one big feature of our program. That's huge. That's a lot of coin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so to actually take advantage of these uh, incredible incentives, you first go to our website, there's an apply link, um, and that will take you through the application. It's pretty easy, and at the end of that, you'll, you'll get a certificate with the exact incentive amount that you're eligible for. And it might take a couple of days to process that application, but most people are able to get theirs in a day or so. It's been a pretty quick and efficient process. Uh, so then you take that certificate to one of our three partner dealerships, uh, which we partnered with because they were able to offer additional, there's more money, guys, yeah. uh, additional. That bottom line, <laughs> you know. There's more. Yeah, yeah. discounts um, off of MSRP. So our three partner dealerships are Greenwood Chevrolet and Hollister, and they're offering the Chevy Bolt. Cardinelli Nissan, uh, where they offer the Leaf Plus, and Santa Cruz Volkswagen, where you can get the e-Golf. You can get any version of the model, all the features that you want, uh, the Bolt Premier, the Leaf SL Plus, whatever you want, um, going into the dealership. So you have your certificate at the dealership. You show them this certificate. Um, and so that makes you eligible for all the discounts that I just mentioned, which are also, uh, these are all listed on our website if you want to know the exact numbers. Um, there's a pretty easy document that you can see right there. Um, so you go into the dealership, you, uh, you show them your certificate, and you get the dealer discount, the manufacturer discount, and the MBCP incentive as a combined discount mm. off of the listed sale price for a purchase or a lease. 
No. That's that's so huge. You're coming so away with some money. Stacking those like, discounts yeah. right there. And, and, yeah. and, and the one for the bolt is pretty impressive when yeah. you put them all together. It is pretty significant. Yeah. Um, but there's a there's still more. Wait, there's more. There's <laughs> more. Um, so that's what we can offer through our program specifically, but we also want to make sure that you're able to take advantage of all the incentives and rebates that are out there for electric vehicle buyers at this time. So on our website, you can see we have some information on the federal tax credit, which can be up to $7,500 depending on the purchaser and the car. Uh, the, clean view, the clean fuel rebate through PG&E, which is an additional $800 as a rebate. And the clean vehicle rebate project, uh, which is up to $4,500 for low to moderate income individuals. And these after-purchase discounts, they're not sponsored by MBCP, but we do have information on our website um, if you want to find out more and how, how to apply. Uh, so the goal of this program is we're really trying to bring down the cost of an EV to comparable to a gas-powered vehicle, and that will create cleaner air for our community, and it's just another way that we're investing in our customers. Well, so you, you guys are investing in there. customers. Yeah. You're investing in this uh, community, but... People are seeing some hard line numbers that are significant. I mean, it, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, if, once you tally all these up, I mean, for the for the boat, we're talking about like fourteen thousand dollars. Like, it's yeah. You it's, did that in your head. That's, that's, <laughs> a, yeah, that's you can do uh, you, math. Math. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I, I'm adulting. <laughs> yeah. So hashtag adulting. All right. <laughs> for the bolt, um, I could quickly walk you guys through. You know those discounts. How you to combine them all. So you have your certificate, you've gone into um, Greenwood Chevrolet, and the starting MSRP for the basic model Bolt is about $38,000. The dealer discount for a purchase, and they're slightly different if you're purchasing or leasing, the dealer purchase discount is $5,000. The dealer manufacturer discount is $1,000. And then you, if you're an individual, you have your $1,000 and uh, MVCP incentive certificate in so your we're hand. At seven, right there. Yeah, right? so you get seven thousand, seven thousand dollars off mapping. right Good there. You're mapping. Thank you, thank you. At the time of purchase, you walk <laughs> away with that, and then after that, you can apply for the clean vehicle rebate project that I just mentioned, which is twenty five hundred dollars or up to forty five hundred dollars if you're low to moderate income. It's a it's a pretty good range for the income uh, qualifications there. PG&E clean fuel rebate, which is eight hundred bucks. And then the federal tax credit, which is thirty-seven fifty for the bolt, um, and all so together, you're roughly half. Well, like you said, yeah. I mean, like, you're yeah. saving fifty. You know, like Jeff about said, fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand. That's dollars. unreal. It is. They, it's I mean, pretty incredible. It, it is when you, I mean you're talking about. I mean, like you said, maybe not quite half of the vehicle, but but, darn but close. a huge part of it. Mm -hmm. Why would you not want to go clean? I don't yeah. know, guys. You right. got you guys are kind of taking you're taking care of the argument right there. Yeah. You're like, well, why wouldn't you? Because bam. Right. That's, that's a mic drop moment. Right yeah. There. yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I think the station needs a new electric vehicle. I think a caramel electric vehicle would be amazing. I right. agree. Yes. I agree. Do it. Yes. You can apply. We'll I do so people can do about that, right? Yeah. I know Touché. people that give some incentives. Yeah. Well, if people are hearing all this and they're like, oh, my gosh, that's that's a lot. Uh, how do I get? How do I find more about this? And, oh, my gosh, Monterey Bay Community Power is doing some amazing things. How do I find out more about that? What, what are the best ways for people to do that? Definitely follow us on social media, right? Be the first to know about all these awesome new programs as they come available we'll have different ones each year what are your social media uh tags oh, so forth? what do we got gotta just search monterey bay community power okay. we will come up okay okay <laughs> fair enough um and mbcp.org is our website and it stands for monterey bay community power um, literally at his fingertips and Done. everybody can Thank find you. this Followed. information like on that website everybody everything we just heard they can find right there absolutely um, once you go to mbcp.org you can click on energy programs to find our electric vehicles page we have an FAQ up there we have PDFs showing the whole cost breakdown um, we have a roadmap showing exactly what to do first second third and fourth to get all the different incentives and rebates and tax credits available and yeah if you still have questions you can always email programs at mbcp.org wonderful this is simple yeah Shelly thanks so much for coming on Sage thank you thank always you. a pleasure uh, yeah let's get you guys back on again here soon how's that sound hey I'd like to extend a, a final thank you um, for having such a great you know community focused forum for us to inform 
our area of such a great program. We love KRML. Well, that, that, that's why we do Pub Talk. Pe- yep. People like yourselves are doing some great things here in the community, and people need to know about it. This is something that will save you a bunch of bucks and also helps our air quality here, which is what a, what a novel, great concept. Yep. So thanks again, guys. Yep. MBE, Monterey Bay Community Power. Be sure to check it out. Yep. Uh, we're broadcasting live out here on the patio at Peter B's Brew Pub. We've got a live musical performance coming. Pretty excited about that. Going to talk about the Sunset Center and their lo- live locals lunch that is wow. kicking off. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of L's there. Tongue twister. Yes, it is. And, uh, yeah, we're going to hear all that in just a few minutes. Come on down and join us down here at Peter B's for Pub Talk, brought to you by the Monterey Regional Airport and United Airlines on the locals radio station for the Monterey Bay. Caramel. That was awful.
And we are back here live on the patio at Peter B's Brew Pub for Pub Talk, brought to you by the Monterey Regional Airport and United Airlines on the locals' radio station for the Monterey Bay. Caramel. That was better. Thank Not you. the best we're, that you've done. We're but better. It, it was better than the last one, but that's kind of, That's you a know, low bar. That's a real low, low bar. bar. We like to bar. set the bar real low, so... <laughs> Anything's so, achievable so, after that. So, so yeah. when we, I like so how your we, own thought trails it's like, off. It's like, no, we just like to set a low you bar. <laughs> you're, subcon- you're subconsciously like, stop, we, stop. Not for any reason. We just like no, setting a low bar. let me finish. I was saying, so we set the low bar. So when we do something that's very average, it seems really good. Amazing. Okay? Yeah. That's what I was getting to. It's our MO here, folks. <laughs> here at Pup Talk. Um, we've been broadcasting live out here on the patio of Peter Bees. We do this every Wednesday. It's your chance to meet some of your neighbors doing some great things. We've had a lot of great things today. We've talked about uh, saving our environment and saving you a bunch of money through Monterey Bay Community Power. Awesome. Get a green car. You can possibly save up to $14,000 on the Chevy Bolt. That's ridiculous. Uh, and help out our environment again. Also, Cali Roots 10, it's a big deal, and it's going to be here real soon. you got a few chance to, uh, chances to score some tickets, uh, but you got to get on it because it's going to sell out. Uh, be sure to check the Save 30 store here very soon and make plans to try to get tickets. Friday at noon, they go on sale for uh, Cali Roots and Caramel Presents Citizen Cope at Folktale Winery. Right now, we're going to talk about live local music, the Sunset Center. Woo-hoo! Yes. We got Gina with us. Gina, Yay! how are you doing? I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad to have you Woo-hoo! back. I, I can't believe that it's time for uh, this again. And it, Exactly. Also, like one just, year. I'm so stoked that you're doing it again. I, we are, too. And we're so grateful that you guys are the media sponsors. It's so awesome. We're really excited. Oh, we oh. love it. It, it. It's you know, we play so much local music. You guys it, do. It's really important. Mm-hmm. It, it really is. If you want a local music scene, you kind of yeah. got to support it. Yeah. It's true. You'll notice. <laughs> well, yeah. We're, 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 <laughs> Sorry. We're, these <laughs> artists are so amazing. And I'm just laughing because the flyer, I'm the marketing person. And we put out there one of the bands. They're literally standing in front of your sign. I mean, it's just, it's such a great collaboration. <laughs> Community Caramel Sunset Center. I love it. It's per- it's perfect. We've it's had so fun. perfect blue. Uh, mm-hmm. th- we've had them on air. Talman Owens, who you're about to hear, and one I, of our favorites. I know James. James. You. Hello. Yeah, yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the fact that James and Talman have been uh, buddies since they they're about knee high to a grasshopper. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta love that. And and, and, and River, River who River who's coming on. It's uh, amazing. Andrew's pick here. You go ahead. You just say that. Later. Yeah. River um, is an awesome performer of kind of all types they uh, started off in the theater scene and they're like a classically trained vocalist and they play the ukulele and kind of can just do it all because so why think, not yeah i think they're going to be a really really uh fun pick yeah. it is, it is this is a real great showcase of local talent this is a great way to support the local music scene Definitely. but it's also a lot of fun and it's in a beautiful place mm-hmm. because the sunset center yeah. is not just that theater inside which is no. amazing but outside, you guys have done so much work, and, and you've created this just area that's just geared for this beautiful outdoor performance. We we tried, and with the city's help, thankfully, they redid that terrace stage, and it's just beautiful, and it's welcoming and inviting, and that's what we want. We want everybody to come. Theater events, these outdoor events, it's fantastic. And uh, just to get a little taste of what happened in the fall when we were here promoting it, it was our first little go of it. It was brand new. Um, we have I've got Kevin here next to me with Proctor sound who did the video and we just today dropped all the youtube clips of the first six artists which was god jenna vivre Razvio, Austin. Again, people you put exactly great, great people. Exactly. So these videos we've tagged Caramel, we've tagged Proctor Sound. So they're on. What's our YouTube handle? Uh, Sunset Cultural Center. If you want to check out the videos from last fall. And, yeah, just get a taste of the vibe. It's fantastic. We love it. We we love it too. And and people really do need to go check out that space. We're going to talk to you guys a little bit more about the series uh, coming up, but why don't we have one of our favorite local uh, artists who's going to be kicking off the Live Locals Lunch uh, this Friday, which I can't believe it's going to be May 10th already this Friday. we got Talman Owens. He's going to give us a, a, a couple songs. Talman, why don't you come on in here? All right. Let's get him set up. If you're watching on Facebook Live, thank you. We broadcast this a- every Wednesday. Hiding behind Jamesy. Jamie, Jamie. Always love having some live local music. Talman, welcome back to Pub Talk. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me. Let's. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what you've been up to, but we'll let, we can go ahead and hop into some music and uh, see what you got for us, man. All right. Get can it. You, can you hear me? Yes. Gotcha. Sweet. This has got to go. Yeah, that, that won't work there. Right. That works better. Live radio. There we go. Live radio. Look at that. All right. 
So, um, I wanted to uh, thank you guys for setting me up with this show at the Sunset Center. And uh, I want to thank Gina for picking me to do the first one. I mean, that's pretty cool. You're the kickoff, man. That's yeah. a big deal. Setting I'm, the bar uh, high. I'm pretty excited. Um, so, I just wanted to say that I wrote a few new songs recently. Yes. And uh, specifically the two that I'm playing tonight. So, um, I'm playing an instrumental song that I wrote for uh, my best friend's um, short film that he's doing as a project for his CSUMB um, final project. So, wow. Um, and it's uh, it's definitely not, not like the stuff I've played here before. So. Oh, let's hear it, man. Can't wait. Talman Owens live here on Pub Talk. All right. The song's called uh, Frank's Metal. Salmon Owens, live here on Pub Talk. D- didn't know it was an instrumental. I did, I, I, you said it would be something different. You weren't kidding, man. First instrumental we've gotten from you. That's true, yeah. What, what was the inspiration for that? Because it had kind of a, a dark, kind of minor feel to it. Uh, yeah. This, this was a really, really fun thing for me to write. My, my friend showed me his uh, short film, like The Rough Cut, and he said, uh, it's a dark comedy. So... <laughs> So, you know, I want kind of that dark comedy vibe. And then I watched the movie over the six minute film over and over and over again. And he had a, a really lo fi recording of, uh, of Elliot Smith, like a B side. And I was like, I, I kind of, you know, I, I love Elliot Smith. So yeah, I was I'm really trying to uh, emulate the, uh, the vibe of that specific song. So I actually wrote two songs that kind of connect. Um, so that's the second song. And it's like the finishing song of the, uh, the film. So. I'm I'm really excited uh, about it. My friend and I are gonna record like a little video for it with the, you know, the film pieces and little trailer deal. So well, I'm it, about I it. loved it. It's funny that you said Elliot Smith because I was like, this kind of sounds like an Elliot Smith song. It's like, uh, <laughs> like kind of one of his darker, more like a little bit more rocking, but with hell. Like yeah, I was like this. I kept on waiting to hear it. like you or Elliot kick in with the vocals, but I oh, love it. Yeah. So you're kind of dealing with like soundtracks and scores now. That's gonna be exciting thing for you to work on as an artist uh, i've never done that specifically so uh to get like the inspiration from watching a movie um uh, it was really 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 fun so i I played around sent him like a few different songs like rough cuts and um he he really liked that one so and it and it's funny because the editing process it worked perfectly so we couldn't be happier that's awesome i'm really really excited about it we got time to hear one more song from you if you uh will so grace us sure Excellent. And Talman Owens live here on Pub Talk. So uh, this is a song I actually wrote for my daughter. Um, 
she's uh, almost finishing kindergarten, but I wrote this song when she uh, she went on the bus for the first time, and I, I went home, and I didn't know what to do with myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> Steph can... Uh, I can relate can to that. It. You can relate to that. I know a lot of people can. So this song uh, is called Big Steps. Alvin Owens live here on Pub Talk. Man, always glad to have you back on. Really, we, we always look forward to it. And, uh, man, I, I love the direction you're going with the new music, man. You're exploring a lot of places you hadn't gone before. Well, thank you. That's the first time I've ever played that song I, uh, on the radio, of course. But I, I think I've only played that song like one other time when my dad was around and I've had a lot of wine at the uh, Folk Tale Winery, so <laughs> that was pretty scary for me. No, uh, that that song means a lot to me, so I'm, I'm happy you, you liked it, happy you, you enjoyed it, you guys. Oh, our Thanks pleasure, man. share it with you. You heard him here. See him Friday, May 10th. Uh, all shows start approximately at 1230, go till about 115, and um, I encourage you to check out Talman. This Friday, he's going to be kicking off. The locals lunch uh, concert series he is he is we're so excited come see talman uh, how excited are you about this gina i'm so excited uh just a reminder the locals lunch concert series which did start in uh last fall our executive director asked the staff to curate this so it, it was our the staff literally andrew picked next week we picked Talman. We just like it's the staff, so it's really like the local people who are kind of out and about in town who they want to see and bring them to Sunset Center. So it's so fun. It's great. Well, we love it. We love it too. Talman Owens, Friday, May tenth, uh, River in the Valley. No, did I pronounce that right? I believe so. I, I believe we're going to need to get River on here to perform too. That, uh, she'll be on May seventeenth. Correct. Uh, Perfect Blue, uh, May twenty fourth, and May thirty first. Another one of our uh, favorites, James Lee Murray. We're so lucky. I don't know. It's just we're continuing the trend. It's uh, really great. Just top-notch artists. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank we appreciate you. you supporting live local artists. Go to sunsetcenter.org mm-hmm. and make plans to go there this Friday, Please. 1230. Yeah. Talman Owens. It's going to be awesome. Don't miss it.
Thank you. Always a pleasure, Gina. Thank you. Appreciate Talman, it. Talman, thanks again, man. That wraps up another Pub Talk brought to you by the Monterey Regional Airport and United Airlines. We do it every Wednesday at 5 o'clock. We'd love for you to come down and meet some of your neighbors doing some great things because there's a lot of great people doing a lot of extraordinary things here on the Monterey Bay, and it's great to meet them over a frosty pint. Now come on down here. The puck's drop for the Sharks. They're going to play. Dubs are coming as well. We'd love for you to come on down to Peter B's and hang out with us out here on the patio. If not, we'll see you next Wednesday right back here. On Pub Talk, brought to you by the Monterey Regional Airport, United Airlines, on the locals radio station for the Monterey Bay. Caramel. Caramel. That was so much better. Thank- <laughs>